Nestelin, to Nestelin, welcome kin brothers and sisters. Pray all is well with you all. Pray the Father is keeping you all in peace, with love, tranquility, peaceful state of mind, and peace of spirit. Be not disturbed by the things in which the world is experiencing. There's a lot of things going on in the world, blessed. Greetings, greetings. There's a lot of things going on in the world right now that are distracting mankind from their spiritual progress. Society is impeding our progress by pure distractions. Because the world has become godless, there will be no prosperity. Wherever God is, so is prosperity. Wherever God is, so is kindness, love, peace, tranquility, and selflessness. The distractions that are caused are purposely set in place by capitalists. Yes, by the rich who owns the media, who owns all entertainment, whether music, movies, etc. These people do not believe in God. And this is exactly why God said a rich person would not be able to inherit the kingdom. Why? Because when you're rich, you don't need God. God was always and is always on the side of the poor and the oppressed, the sad at heart. Society make us want to thrive to become rich. When God tells us a camel will go through an eye of a needle before a rich person gets into heaven. So why do we push to get rich? Didn't our Lord Geta Yesos Christo said, it's better to be rich in spirit. So why do we want to obtain riches of the world? Did not the devil tempt our Lord by offering him fame in the world, riches of the world? The same thing that a lot of these celebrities are embracing and manifesting. Riches can't save you. It's going to come a time when Father said that rich would throw their money and their valuables on the street because it would have no value. See, because once their money is gone, they're gone. They don't have spiritual endurance. That's why when a rich person loses their money, the first thing they do is kill themselves because they can't experience the circumstances of poverty. Poverty, in a sense, breeds faith and strength to those who endure. Never chase after the world, especially in these times, because our Lord said in the last days, there will be evilness on the earth such as never before. In the last days, there will be evil on the earth such as never before. The illusion that shall come upon mankind will be so intense and so strong that the Lord said he would speed up time because he knew that evilness would try to wear the saints out, the righteous and the holy. Now, none of us are 100% righteous. None of us are 100% holy. But we work on it consistently every day. And because we work on it consistently every day, our Lord and Savior, Geta Yesos Christos, Jesus Christ, he died for our sins. So that in which we lack, he will provide for us because of our faith that we keep in him and not in the world like the Lord said anyone that loves the world cannot love him anyone that loves their mother their father their children or anything more than they love the Lord they're not worthy of the Lord the Lord said if you put your hands on the reins and you look back you're not worthy of his kingdom with that being said let us be worthy of the father's kingdom let us work on a singular consistency to do right by God, not by what man say, because many times men tend to seem like they're right, but they're wrong in God's eyes. The only way to find out is praying for the spirit of discernment. So we pray with discerning, or the discerning heart, the discerning spirit, the truth will be revealed of what God will is. In the exabi fakad, that's if God is willing. You guys have a most blessed day. Have a good day. Malcolm Ken Yahun Lilachu. Xavier Michigan, I mean, you guys have a great day. Salam.